It's here. The Witcher Season 3 has arrived. Henry Cavill's swan song as Geralt of Rivia. Of course, he is going to be stepping out of the role. Liam Hemsworth, Chris Hemsworth, his brother, is going to be stepping in for Season 4. But it's here now. Listen, I got to tell you, I love The Witcher. Uh, I thought season one was fantastic. I didn't like season two quite as much as I liked season one. I thought it was a little bit of a step down, but still thoroughly enjoyable. I liked it a lot, but been really excited for this three. Now, Netflix for season three is doing that same thing they've been experimenting with. I've been telling you, they're going to do more of this where they're, they're taking this third season and they're breaking into two parts. So they're going to release like chapter one or the first five episodes today. And then next month in July, they're going to release the last batch of episodes. So they're getting closer and closer to going week by week, but they are where they are. Henry Cavill has been almost as good in this role as he has been as Kal-El Superman uh, in the DC universe. And, you know, I think he's the greatest Superman of all time. So, you know, just a little bit of... A little bit of a personal bias there, but he's been a terrific Geralt. And now the reviews, at least for the first chapter of season three, the first few episodes, have now come out. And as of right now, it's holding a 94% on Rotten Tomatoes. The critics seem to be liking him. Let's go over and take a look at what some of them are saying. Empire Magazine says, with plot lines finally beginning to coalesce, this is the tightest, most action-packed season of The Witcher yet. Uh, the London Eve Evening Standard says... Really, it falls to Cavill to carry the whole thing, which he does with the plum. The man utterly sells it. You care about Geralt, and when he is not on screen, the whole thing suffers. This series will be poorer without him. And again, all kudos to Liam Hemsworth, but man, he's stepping into some big shoes because it's not just that Cavill is great. He's been so good in this role. It's going to be hard to imagine somebody else doing it. Anyway, The Guardian writes, uh, can the show cope without Henry Cavill? It will be painful, but The Witcher has enough going on for us to imagine life without him. Uh, the AV Club writes, what happens when neutrality is no longer an option? That's the question that Volume 1 sets up. But this is a particularly inelegant split, even by Netflix standards, cutting it off just as the season's major themes start to take shape. So again, this is new for Netflix, right? The separating of the season into two parts. But it goes on and on. I mean, like, really good, strong, positive reaction we're getting to this. Now, remember, these guys have not seen the second part of season three. The people doing these reviews, just the first part, the first five episodes, I think. But it's good to hear that things are off to such a great start. And particularly for me, as a Henry Cavill fan, it's good to hear that he's getting right back on that horse and carrying the show as he has done so far. Will this season get back to the same level as season one? Will it hold around the level of season two? May it be the best season we've had yet? Who knows? We want to thank a sponsor of this video, Mint Mobile. From the gas pump to the grocery store, your utility bills and favorite streaming services, inflation is everywhere. Seriously, make it stop. Thankfully, there's one company out there that's giving you a much needed break. It's Mint Mobile. As the first company to sell premium wireless service online only, Mint Mobile lets you order from home and save a ton with phone plans starting at just $15 a month. You guys know that ever since I switched to Mint Mobile, I've been saving almost 70% a month over my old phone plan. For people looking Looking for extra savings this year? Mint Mobile offers premium wireless for just $15 a month. By going online only and eliminating the traditional cost of retail, Mint Mobile passes the significant savings on to you. All of their plans come with unlimited talk and text plus high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and keep your same phone number along with all your existing contacts. Switch to Mint Mobile and get premium wireless service starting at just $15 a month. To get your new wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month and get the plan shipped to your door for free, go to mintmobile.com slash campia. That's mintmobile.com slash campia. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash campia. Question is for you guys. What do you think about this? Have you even been watching The Witcher? like I have right from season one. Maybe you've been hearing about it and thinking about getting ca caught on to it. Are you kind of excited to see Henry Cavill in his last appearance this season as Geralt of Rivia? Maybe you don't like the franchise at all. Whatever you guys think, jump down into the comments section below and let us know your thoughts. Hey guys, thanks for checking out our video. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel, but don't forget we also have a daily podcast called the John Campy Show podcast available on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today.